first, I'm going to give you my opinion. This is just my opinion. On television, currently, there is a TV show called Vitanum Sansen. I think Vitanum Sansen is a terrible TV show. Like, it, it, I think the plot is just stupid. Um, but in a recent episode, or a couple of episodes, um, they had uh, Halide Edip as a character on it. Um, and there was nothing really that bad with her character on this TV show, but again, I think the rest of the TV show is not very good. Anyway, um, so people now are, you know, kind of thinking about uh, this person again. Again, she was a famous uh, revolutionary. She was a friend of Ataturk's. Later, she was in the Turkish parliament. She was also a famous author. She wrote many books, both fiction and nonfiction. And maybe you say, hey, I would like to know more about her. And after reading about her and doing some research, you think, hey, I think other people would be interested in her. So let's say that you want to do some research about her. Rather than just reading a book that a historian or someone else wrote about her, you could actually look at things that she wrote or did herself. So take, for example, this video from YouTube. This video is from the TRT archives, and it's from the uh, Sultanahmet meeting that was, um, if I remember, May 23rd, 1919. And this was um, a meeting in which the Turkish Ottoman um, revolutionaries, nationalists, whatever you want to call them, those fighting against the British and the Greek forces who were controlling Western Turkey, got together and had a rally against foreign occupation. And at this meeting, uh, Edip spoke. And she has a famous speech. And if you watch this video, you can hear her speak. Now, this is a primary source. These are her real words. Likewise, she wrote a number of books, both fiction and nonfiction. Now, you could read her fictional works and think about what her political and social message were in these works. Or you could read her nonfiction books, which interestingly, a number of them were written in English. Uh, like, the, like her memoirs, or a book called The Turkish Ordeal. Uh, I think there's another book called, there's another book called uh, Turkey Faces West. All of these books were actually written in English. So it would be interesting to see why she wrote these books that were nonfiction. They were about either herself or about her political analysis of Turkey and the West. Why she decided to write them in English. Now, I'm serious. This could be a very interesting research project because probably most people haven't thought that deeply about her. And if they did, they probably did eh, 20, 30 years ago. I don't think a lot of young people in Turkey think much about her or her writing. So this could be an opportunity to reevaluate her, her writings, her life, what she did, and make the argument that what she said and did is still important. Or maybe you think it's not important and you think we shouldn't talk about her. I don't know. That's up to you. Now, how would you present this? Well, you could write articles about her. You could do a podcast about her. You could do video about her. You could use uh, parts of this speech in your video. You could use parts of the speech in your podcast. If you wrote an article, you could use uh, some of her writings from her books. But again, you need to think, who is my audience? Is it you know, Americans who have no idea who this woman was? Is it people in Turkey who know her name but don't know much about her? You have to decide that. But that's a place where your sources actually are your research.